Hey guys, I'm just more today. We're gonna to be talking about how to start your own Binomon scholarship. But before that, if you like anything about crypto, if you like play to earn games, or if you like NFT games in general, then hit the subscribe button and join the family. Now, quickly, if you want to start a scholarship, of course you need some dragons. So to do that, just go to the website nft.binomon.org and then get yourself 1,000 Bmon Z ones and 400 Bmon tokens, and then buy yourself a booster. Another way to get yourself some Binomon Z ones is to head over to the Discord and then go to their server and then you could just simply go to the main trade chat or the z1 trade and this is where some people will be offering some of their dragons now after you do that you're going to want to create an account for your scholar and simply really fast you just go to your metamask extension click the top right and then add an account or create an account after that you name it i'll just name this one scholar two click create and then now you have yourself another scholar account and then you're going to need to send your binomon z ones to that scholar address if you have it on a different account and to do this you're gonna go to your collection go to your z1 monsters and look for the id number right here copy that go back to your go back to your shop and then send token and then paste the address that you have before which is this one then i'm going to swap back over to my main account and then paste this address right there and then we're going to click z1 right there then we'll click send it'll pop this open and then just confirm that token sent successfully it will be transferred once the new block is mined now after that has sent you're going to want to go and change your account back to the scholars account and then connect it then go to the collection the z1 monsters and then once it loads the new the the binamon z1 should be in their collection after you've confirmed that the binamon z1 is in their inventory you're gonna go to this website p2e.binamon.org connect the metamask wallet of your scholar sign in and then once this finishes uploading okay so this actually loaded up my own account you're gonna want to can go back to your metamask wallet and then click connect scholar to or connect your scholar account and then after that i'm just gonna reload the page and then connect the metamask sign in and now it should load up my scholars account now you need to approve the nft but to do that you're going to also need some bnb in this scholar account so just make sure that you set up your, your bnb in that account and um approve the nft then simply just give them this password you copy and paste it, and then send it over to them and then you have a scholar that's about it now if you're looking for scholars a really quick and easy way to find them is going back to the discord and then go scroll down and then go to conversations scholarships and then there's always someone looking for a manager here so what i did was i posted something i said like hey i'm looking for a scholar and then a bunch of people dm me and now i have some scholars that's about it though and really quick and easy guide on how to make a binamon scholarship program one thing to note or a couple things to note though is when you're getting yourself some scholars make sure that they one have a computer that they could play on and to understand how to use the metamask wallet because that is how they're going to be withdrawing their bmon z1 tokens into into another token or withdrawing it into their currency a lot of scholars understand how to use the ronin wallet but they don't have much experience with metamask so just keep those things in mind and other than that if you like the video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys